Hello, people. Hi. It's me, Hova, and then we have Dylan here, and we're playing Dark Souls. We're playing on my account, but right now Dylan's playing it for me because I'm a newbie. And yeah. So we were going to talk about some Xbox One games that we've played recently. One of them being Black Ops 3, and the other being Mortal Kombat X. They're both really fucking good. I'll start out with Black Ops 3. Um, I played a little bit of it at my friend's house. Um, it looked pretty freaking good. I haven't played any of the campaign, just multiplayer. Um, there are a few maps that just, they just seem a little small to me. Like, yeah. I, th I think they could have been a lot bigger. So, what do you think? I think it's really good. They did something way better than Advanced Warfare where you just not bunny hop all the time. It actually limits the amount of um, airburst that you have in your jetpack or whatever you want to call it. And then I like it because it's like with Advanced Warfare, you just freaking have a bunch of air under you. But with Advanced Warfare, like it's like a little jetpack. It's just kind of. It's just a little burst that you can get. <coughs> and it just makes it flow a lot easier, I guess. Yeah. I love I love the fact that you can wall run on Black Ops 3, too. I didn't think that I would like it as much as I do. Yeah. It's just like, you're, you're on your little jetpack thing, and then all of a sudden you're up, running on a wall killing people. <laughs> yeah. Like, and advanced warfare you were just like, bunny hopping like all you that's all you did was bunny hop and then like there was no wall running there was the sliding but that that the man. sliding has been in since ghosts yeah i didn't use sliding during advanced warfare like even though there was sliding in the game, I just felt like I had to continuously jump. Like, it didn't matter. <laughs> yeah. On the guns, I used one of the guns. The first assault rifle you get, I'm pretty sure. And that's the only one I got. Um, I think the leveling system is kind of screwed up. And Black Ops 3? Yeah, so it, it, I don't think it's too bad. It's okay. I think it's kind of screwed up because I was using the same gun and I was killing people with the same gun. And then my gun was like a level 7 and I was a level 3. I didn't get that. But I guess... I think it goes off of the amount of kills you get with it. I just thought it's kind of unbalanced in that way. Eh. It could be a little... A little smaller, but... Yeah, I think it could be smaller. The one thing that I thought was kind of effed up in Black Ops 3 was the hit detection. The hit detection yeah. was kind of weird. Yes. Like, I would just be shooting around everybody. I would shoot them, but I wouldn't get any hit markers. While everybody was shooting my, like, the clothes on my leg, and I would be killed instantly. I think... Like, I could not see the hit marker at all. Well, then again, I was split-screening with my friend, so... Yeah, that, but, that's kind of hard, but... But I still didn't really see anything. But overall, it's a pretty good, pretty good game, and once I get an Xbox One, I'm going to play it. Hell, you can get it on Steam with oh, the yeah. deal that's coming up. Steam. I saw that guy before. Yeah. I got really scared. Because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Wow. I took that in a completely different aspect when I saw him. <laughs> All you gotta do is really just parry him. He's not that hard of an enemy. Well, he is on for, like, new players, yeah. 
So, I saw on for gaming news, Black Ops 3 is free for PC gamers through Steam this weekend. And I, I'm probably going to get it, but I don't think it'll work very well. And that's what I'm kind of nervous about. But if it works, I'll record some. Oh, it something. should work just fine. I might have to bring down the graphics or something, but that's, that's easy. So what next, then? Um, I guess we could go to Mortal Kombat X. Oh my god, that that's by far my favorite Mortal Kombat out of the entire series. I didn't play any Mortal Kombats, but I've watched people play it, and I think I watched, oh, what was it, Injustice or something? And oh, that's like a, yeah, Injustice. That, I thought it was kind of weird. It, that one's more childish, so I guess that's kind of why. Since it has a bunch of superheroes and villains and stuff. But I thought that was kind of kind of weird. So, And I'm not a big fighting game fan. It just seems kind of pointless. Not pointless, but I don't know what I'm saying. Um, and then when I played Mortal Kombat X, I, I see how it's fun. Because you can rip someone's rib cage in half <laughs> and one of my favorite ex one of my favorite ones is um uh you can get kenshi what is it um you can like slice their like veins open and then make them hang up like a fucking puppet it's really cool the fatalities in the game are awesome oh my god they're gruesome man my favorite is probably cassie cage though what the one with the bubble gun like the one where she shoots you and then sticks her bubble gun. In no, not head. that. The other one. Um, I don't know what she does, but she like murders you and then. Oh, it's the <laughs> one where she smacks off your jaw and then posts it on like Facebook. Yeah. Like she slices off your jaw, she picks them up and then takes a selfie and then posts it on Facebook or something. <laughs> and everyone starts commenting on it and it's just awesome. I think just that's my favorite fatality just for the silliness of it. <laughs> um, oh, one of the most gruesome ones I've seen in it um, is Jax's uh, fatality. He like he like turns you into a T Rex. He smushes your arms into oh, your like yeah. rib cage and then makes your mouth into a ashtray. <laughs> I was playing like I played that when I was at my friend's too and. We, well, first I was new to it, and he went as, oh, what's the guy's name? What's he look um, like? He's, like, he glows green. and That's, um, I think you're thinking of Kano. No, that's not Kano. Oh, Ermac. Ermac, that, he picked Ermac, and I picked Scorpion, or Sub-Zero, just because I'm familiar with, not the controls, but with the people. And he completely destroyed me. So I was trying to learn all these combos. And he was button mashing. And then I st stuck to button mashing. You don't want to button mash, man. It won't work out for you. Unless you're my friend. It works out for him every single time. I he don't must, know how he does it. He must just be lucky then. Um, I learned a bunch of combos with some guys by playing it with um, my friend Sean. Who's your favorite character to play as? Oh, my favorite would definitely either have to be um, Kenshi or uh, Kung Lao. I gotta say my favorite is Kano. Kano is just like brutal with his knives, man. Why Kano's my favorite? Um, well, for one, I actually won my first game with him. Well, not <laughs> game, but match. I still got destroyed, but... I guess I control them a lot better than the other ones. And I need some water, jeez. Very quick jump. This guy will kill me in one shot. How about the maps? Uh, the maps, there's like not very much variation, actually. It's... The only thing that's really different is the environment stuff that you can use to hurt your enemy. That 
It was like the best part of the game, I think. Yeah. Have you killed him? No, not yet. He's almost dead, though. Okay, then I'll move back to my chair once you're done. <laughs> Might as well have some chips. <laughs> um. Oh, no! Did you die? Yeah, he killed me. Yeah. The only reason he killed me was because I fucked up my parry. But the maps, there, there needs to be a lot more maps. But then again, it is a fighting game. So. One, one thing I really didn't like is how they got rid of Striker. Have you never played with Striker, Joe? No. Striker is like a cop or some shit like that. And he's like really cool, but... And I think Ermac has, like, really just not been any cooler. I think he should have just stuck with the way he looked before. And then there's me and Dylan's least favorite person, Farrah and Tor. Oh, my God. I hate fighting Farrah Tor. Like, they're okay. Their distance and their damage is just so bullshit, man. I I thought they would be really overpowered and... Some aspects, yes, but they're even I, more overpowered than Goro, I think. But I fought against Fair and Tor with Johnny Cage, and it wasn't too bad actually, except for Tor's charge. That is almost his like, um X-ray move. No, like it just charge. He has this move where he just charges straight at you and just annihilates you. Oh my god. That's I make one rule when I play it is to not use Ferator because he's just so overpowered and his reach is just so um long and I just He's like the Hulk but a little shorter and with a little kid on his back stabbing you with knives And then there's the test your luck and oh, test that, your might That's one of my um favorite is um test your luck I saw, I watched someone play the Test Your Might. Um, <clears throat> well, <laughs> that, it's pretty you, funny. It's funny watching people, but when you actually play it, it's, there's a, if you want to be good at button mashing, just do that. That's all you have to do. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay, well, we're playing Dark Souls right now, so let's go to that. Um, Dark Souls 3. I'm, find, I'm finding stuff online to talk about since... I don't know. Um, Dark Souls 3 fans take it upon themselves to fix oh, the latest shit. gameplay trailer. So... I gotta read this. Okay. Some of the fans felt as though the choice of music that was paired along with the video was less than flattering for the dark and deadly Dark Souls world. Okay. Complaining about the music I don't think is as... I thought the music was very badass for it. I haven't seen the Dark Souls 3 trailer, so I don't know why we're talking about this. <laughs> I've seen it. How did you like it? I like I loved it. It just reminded me, it, it looked like a mix of Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2. It has the Dark Souls 1 look and the Dark Souls 2 gameplay. Do you think it's going to be harder? Oh, or? I think it's definitely going to be harder. Great. Joe, you can barely get through Dark Souls 1. <laughs> well, I haven't really played that much. With these types of games, like medieval stuff... I don't know, it's just, it seems too complicated for me to learn, so I don't even try. Oh, you just need to, you just need to get used to it. Once you get used to it, it's not that hard. I do like Dark Souls, I like watching it, but I really wish I could, like, learn to play it and be average. <laughs> that's, that's my skill, I'm average. <laughs> Except for that one guy who 
beat Dark Souls without taking any damage. Oh my god, that guy is a Dark Souls god. Like, he just wins that life. If someone doesn't know what Dark Souls is, like, it's just hard. It... Like, I'm having difficulty uh, killing this guy. But that's just because he has, like... Oh, that's because he kills me in one shot if I don't get my parry on right. Go fuck yourself, Havel. <laughs> have to be such a bitch I saw a couple things on gaming news related stuff what's that that I I can't wait for what so there's this new game coming out or has I don't know it's called battalion 1944 and it's a World War two shooter which I'm just saying, thank God, because that's what we want, and finally we're getting somewhere. Hopefully... Eh, I feel like they should make... Hello? Did we have that muted the entire time? No, not the entire time. My mic cut out for some reason. Hopefully it didn't wreck this whole thing. Oh well. But you know what? I'm just gonna kill the boss. Uh, I'll kill the boss for you, Joe. Appar no, I want to kill the boss. And apparently, Attack on Titan was gonna be done after the first season, but the guy who made it said, "Well, this is really popular. Might as well just keep keep milking it out." So, um, season two is coming out this summer, I'm pretty sure, and I can't wait, even though I'm only on episode one. <laughs> no, not episode one, episode six, season one. Um, is there any other games? Um, you played <coughs> Fallout 4 a little bit. Yeah, I did. It's a lot harder than, uh, if you're on normal difficulty, it's a lot harder on, uh, at the beginning than other Fallout games. Because on other Fallout games, you can just, like, steal shit right away, and if you try and steal one little thing from somebody on, uh, Fallout 4, you get wrecked immediately by everybody in the town or the area. Okay, Jesus Christ. How much of the game did you play? I got through three missions, I think. How much did you screw around? Uh, not a lot. I barely screwed around. It was just me trying to get to a town, basically. And, um, one, I almost died, like, three times just trying to get to this town because I got chased by two Yalguais that were way higher level than I was. Or they required more experience for me to even have a chance of killing. I basically had to backpedal shooting my double barrel shotgun the entire way. And I did barely any damage. I didn't even take them down a quarter of the way. I just ran to the nearest person that ha had guns and left them to die as soon as they started taking them on. I think it, yeah, it was last weekend. I got a chance to play... Star Wars Battlefront on Xbox One. Oh, it's such a good game. I really want it. Uh, I heard it's quite average. Like, it's the average shooter. It kind of is, but... Just with the Star Wars logo on it. it I heard it feels too much like Battlefield. I haven't played enough Battlefield, but I don't think it feels too... Too much like Battlefield... But I still love the game. Uh, there's, I really like that there's no reloading, which yeah, that is would, awesome. That would be nice. But the gun just overheats sometimes if you use it too long. Um, the power ups are weird. I don't really understand them. Like there's just random care packages that you can get, like an X-wing and stuff like that. 
I didn't see one X Wing when I played. Or a did G-Roll. you also play that at Tyler's? No, I played that at uh, Kayla's mom's house. Come on, pick up the souls. This guy's a pain in the ass to kill. Wanna know why, Joe? You yeah. fuck up your parry one time, and you're dead. I almost fucked up right there. Hey, on the bright side, you'll have a lot of souls to level up. Luckily, he has such a big fucking uh, weapon that you can just anticipate when you can parry him. So, I guess to recap, since we don't really have much else to say. <laughs> yeah. Um, Black Ops 3. Awesome. Okay, 1 out of 10, what would you say? Uh, I'd give it an uh, 8 out of 10. I have to give it about 7.58, just of what I played. 7.58? Yep. <laughs> what the hell kind of rating is that? 7.5 or 8. Oh, or 8. <laughs> I thought you said 7.58. Well, it, it could be a 7.58. I sat around there, so. <laughs> um, the maps could be bigger. But uh, I, I think they're the right size. I haven't played zombies or anything or campaign. I haven't played any zombies either. <laughs> um, Mortal Kombat X. Just awesome. I'd give that a 9 out of 10. <laughs> I'd have to give it a 9.5. I just wish there was more fighters. I, if they get a Deadpool DLC, I will buy it. Oh, <clears throat> uh, they already had that on Marvel vs. Capcom 3. That's it. I'm getting it. <laughs> if I wasn't a bum. <laughs> we are just bums on YouTube. <laughs> um, there could be a little more maps, I think. Um, more fighters, but... Yeah, more fighters is the only reason why I only give it a 9 out of 10. I'd give it a 10 out of 10 otherwise. Um, then... What else? There was the new shooters. Um, I really am excited for the new shooters that are, like, World War One, World War Two based. I hope those are both true. And I really hope I can play them. Um, then the Dark Souls 3 uh, trailer. Did that. you kill him? No, he's almost dead, though. <gasps> Are you okay now? No, I'm not okay. <laughs> this guy's a bitch. I don't know. Uh, I don't understand how my parry didn't work there. God. Fucking damn it. I'm not going after that anymore. Screw that. And then, unless you want your 4,000 souls back. I do, but... Here. Okay, if I would stop playing right here, could I get them back? Uh, if you, like, quit, they won't leave where they were, but you'd still have to go back and retrieve them. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, just quit and then... You should be able to get them back later on. Okay. Um. Got it. Then. We gotta press the start menu to quit, man. I know. Um. Fallout 4. I haven't played enough of it to give it a good rating. And then. I'd, the, with the way I've played so far, I'd give it a good 8 out of 10. And then for me, Battlefront. Um. 8.5 to 9. I only played, like, Team Deathmatch. <coughs> Gosh! my I've been sick, so my voice is going off. Welcome to the club, man. Um, 8.5 to 9. It, it is fun, but it's just kind of... Repetitive? Yeah, kind of. If there... I don't know if there was third-person mode. Yeah, there's third-person mode. I don't know how you do that on Xbox One, but I didn't try that. If it was all third person mode, that would be kind like of it good. was on the first two. Yeah. 
And I'm just running up and down the stairs for my cardio. <laughs> Gotta work on that cardio, man. This game is fun. But hard. Yep. It's hard, but fair. And, yeah. If you have anything that you want us to talk about next time. If you want to. If you want to call me a scrub in the comments, go right ahead. <laughs> just comment what you want to want us to talk about next time, and that's about it. Do you have anything else you want to say? Uh, fuck Havel. Yeah. <laughs>